I want to share a story with you guys. Um, last week, I had two guys approach me separately. One I kind of know with the you know respectful head nod, and the other one I don't know at all. And both guys asked me with a lot of concern, and the question was, how can I motivate my wife to be healthier and to get to the gym and to have the motivation? Because that's a really tough topic. That's a really touchy topic. And I feel like I've had a lot of people kind of talk to me about this stuff lately. And um, neither guy expressed any distaste or not liking their wife's body. It had nothing to do with their body. It literally was like, you know, she would feel better. She'd be more confident. She'd be happier. She would, you know, be a better role model for our kids and herself and the people around her and I want that for her so how can I motivate her without hurting her feelings and it also made me really sad because in our culture I feel like getting married is like the free-for-all card that you can let your body and your confidence go to hell and it really shouldn't be that way it's really kind of sad um, we really need to start making the time to take care of ourselves, regardless of how busy our life is because it does affect everybody around us. It affects our kids. It affects our husband. It affects our relationships. And it affects how we feel about ourselves. And so everybody's busy. I mean, I work nights and I own my own business and I have a three-year-old and I have a husband and I try to take care of as much as I possibly can. But if you want to feel healthy and you want to feel confident and you want to be happy through and through it's going to start with you it's going to start with you taking care of yourself and it really shouldn't take your spouse asking other people for help and encouragement to get you feeling encouraged now does that mean that we don't all need a little kick in the butt sometimes no like it's definitely great but um because we all have our moments where we're not super motivated or um, you know, we get in a slump of not taking care of ourselves the way that we would hope to or wish we would have. Um, but ultimately, it comes down to you wanting it for yourself. Like, stop being lazy. Stop half assing shit. Stop being like, hey, I'm married. They should love me for the way I am. Yes, they should love you for the way you are. But you not taking care of yourself and you being miserable, that is in your control. And it's nobody, nobody else should have to like sacrifice their happiness because you choose not to do the things that make would make you happy does that make sense like you shouldn't have to bring the people around you down because you are kind of sucking yeah pretty much sucking um i can't say it any other way like because i've been there i've been there where i haven't like um had the motivation or the drive or something but you realize how much it affects everybody else like it's not just you taking care of you and your health. Like, same thing goes with our parents who, some of our parents are super unhealthy. Who's going to be the one taking care of them? It's so important that we do this for ourselves. But if you can't do it for yourself, do it for everybody around you. Because somebody's going to be picking up your slack somewhere. Somewhere somebody's going to be picking up your slack. So, what I encourage is start slow. Start with something that is going to... Um, be easy for you. So if that is starting to clean up your diet and you want to make some small changes, make a small change week to week. Then you're going to build that self-trust. Then you're going to build that confidence. Then you're going to build that momentum and that drive that you can do this. And then maybe next week add another goal. Like I'm going to do one workout. Do things that you can achieve, that you can feel confident, and that you can feel satisfied, and that feels so easy that it starts to become your lifestyle. So you start to build a lifestyle based on making really small changes week to week that you can accomplish, okay? Because you gotta do this for yourself. But if you can't, do it for everybody that you love.